that there's a, a book, the Invisible Women, which looks so that a lot of these sort of um, and they talk about reference man who is, you know, it seems to crop up everywhere mm. because it's just an assumption, as you say, almost an unconscious bias. But yeah, uh, it's it's pretty clear when you think about it. But it, I guess that we haven't made better strides on diversity and inclusion is, is something, mm. I guess, as a society, we really do need to need to improve. Yeah. And, and I think, you know, some of the language that I experienced at, at school around sort of engineering and this is no criticism on, on teachers, I think it's just sort of how it was, was that engineering is, my kind of vision of engineering was, I'm probably going to be outside in a high vis jacket and a bit cold all the time. Um, and I think the best thing that happened when I went to Jaguar Land Rover was I walked into the design studio and it's beautiful. Um, and, you know, it's just a beautiful setting. There were cars being sculpted out of clay. And I think it was the first time that I was like, Engineering does not mean cold, hard hat, high vis jacket. It's so many different things, and it is just a creative discipline of creating solutions. Um, so, I do think we need at like a pipeline level to to talk about the language, but also do everything that we can to keep women in businesses and make sure that they're, you know, sailing through the the ranks um, and present at every decision making level as well.